Hi guys, it's Aqua Thrasher here, and uh, as I promised, this is my video for today. Um, looks like I'm doing pretty good, and I will be able to post a video every day. I think only if I'm sick. If I'm sick, that's probably the only time that I won't be able to post one, or something terrible comes up. But if something terrible comes up, I'll probably just post a quick video to let you guys know what's going on. Um, so today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making some necklaces and they're going to be bats. Um, I kind of pre-made some uh, stuff so that way this video won't end up being too long or too boring because some of the parts are kind of tedious. Uh, so it's not hard though um, and it doesn't cost a lot to make it. So what you're going to be needing... Um, for this project is you're going to be needing a cereal box or something the same thickness of a, th of a cereal box. You're going to be needing some ribbon. Um, you're going to be needing a jump ring. Is that what you call it? These little rings that you use for necklaces. Um, you're going to be needing something for eyes, depending on what you like. I chose to use some um, fabric paint and some glitter. That's yeah, it's about the right size for an eye for a bat. It's just the the nail glitter. You can get glitter anywhere. I got this at Dollar Tree, but they have literally everywhere, even at the grocery store. You're gonna be needing some of this stick glue, school glue. Uh it's all the same. It doesn't really matter what brand you use um, and you're gonna be needing depending if you care if you mess up your nails or not this to open the jump ring and close it and this is uh, I think they're called what are they called wire cutters I don't know um, and if you want you can use glitter too um, I got this at the Dollar Tree. Um, let's see. Oh yes, to open and close the necklace, you could either use, whoopsie. Um, you could use some um buttons, or you could use um clasps if you have some clasps. Um, and you're definitely going to need an eye pin um, because when you're making this project you're going to have a hole in it and to keep it open you're going to need to put it in there because there's no other way to make sure it stays open especially when you put nail polish on there yeah that's another thing you're definitely going to need is you're going to need some nail polish because that's what I used on this to start off the project what you're going to have to do and you could you could use whatever kind of uh, nail polish you want to use, even the cheap kind. I'm using a cheap kind here because I I put it on my nails and it would like chip within like ten minutes. So it's not worth buying it unless you're just gonna use it for something like this. So you just go ahead and you you cut where the folds are. Okay, open the box up, okay, take and cut, and then what you're going to do is you're just going to draw your bat, I don't know if you can see me drawing, but just freehand it, it's fine, sometimes I like bigger things. Eh. I'm not the best drawer in the world. I think I screwed that one up actually. <laughs> See how I messed up. Oh well. Oh well, I will just do it over here. Let's see. I could really use better drawing skills, that's for sure. I've never really been good at drawing. I, I don't know. I may be getting a little bit better, but 
eh. So, if you want a really big one, didn't intentionally make it not big. But sometimes I like wearing big necklaces. Just start out with a shape like that. And then put those little squiggly things on the bottom. Do one. You do. Do uh, the same sides. You know, and just go. I don't know if I'm lining this up right. Oh, there we go. You do a little bit more, and then you do the, the next one, and then do it on the same side too. On the same side. Same side. And you can you end up with a bat like that. Okay, and all you want to do is you want to cut this one out. Um, because what you're gonna this first one that you're doing is going to be your template, you know, your design that you're gonna be using for all the rest of them. Um, for your pendant. Another thing that I for, that I forgot to mention is you got to make sure you leave a little bit of space right above the bat's head so you can put a little loop thingy there so it can be turned into a pendant otherwise you're going to struggle a lot to try to make this into a necklace. I guess you could put a hole in the head but that would take away from the design and it wouldn't end up coming out as well as it should. Um Let's see, I guess like the most time consuming part of this is actually cutting out each one of these. See how I left a little space right there? And right here is is where, let's see, right up there is where you would put a hole. You can use an X-Acto knife or you can use a needle. I have an exact. whoops. I really messed up the camera there. Uh, see, I have an X-Acto knife and just poke holes through. See? Can you see? Oh, yeah. Poke the little hole through there. Okay. Poke a hole through there and you just you keep, you keep tracing until you have six other ones. So, all together you'll have seven of these and then you will use a glue stick one of these you put glue put the next one on, on top and then so on and so forth until you get a whole stack of them and then sometimes like you stack them together and there's still like parts sticking out like say this was like sticking out like this you know and it's not even like just imagine that was and what you would do is you'd file it like that and it would smooth it out and then the next thing that you do you can immediately use um, the nail polish right after you stuck all the uh, bats together because the school glue this stick glue um, it dries really fast um, when I was doing this bat I couldn't I didn't remember where I put my school glue so um, I ended up using E6000 and I had to wait a while for it to dry. Um, I kept my eye pin through there when I did the uh, nail polish so that way I make sure that there was a hole there and it didn't go away. Um, okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take um, I was going to put clear, you know what, I don't think I want to put clear uh, nail polish over this right now. I'm probably just going to do the eyes and let it dry and then put the uh, clear glue, I mean glue, I mean <laughs> nail polish. That's not very exciting though, so I don't think I will show you guys because that's just really super boring. Okay, so I'm going to take some of this. I'm going to stick it right where the eyes go. You see? I don't want to lift it up too much and make it 
squish around and squirt dogs. Well, hopefully you can see that. It looks like you can totally see that. Okay, now my next plan was and is to um, open this simple nail glitter stuff. It comes with a little plastic, extra plastic top on it. So, I don't know. I think I want them to be pro This is like two-sided. One side is blue and the other side is purple. Oops, I kind of spilled. So what I'm going to do is I want the eyes to be purple. Because, oh no, I did blue. Well, you know what? I like blue too. I guess I guess I'll just do blue after all. Next one. The next one that I do, I'll do purple then. I'll be extra super careful. Huh. That was weird. Well, I ended up doing one blue and purple. I guess that one looks cool too though. Um Let me fix that a little bit. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this the fabric paint again and I'm gonna dot a little bit on the eyes to give it a little extra something I, I don't know about you but I really love glitter okay so there we go and then the next part that we're gonna do is you just take the jumper ring you take first you gotta, you gotta take the eye pin out so you gotta be kinda gentle Hopefully I am. Ooh, I was gentle. That was close. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our tool thing here. That's the official name, tool thing. Might be easier if you have two of these, though. Okay. Actually, holy moly, that scared the crap out of me. This little, this little part down here, all of a sudden it snapped. Ooh, I almost jumped out of my chair. I know, I'm a scaredy cat. Ooh, it's hard to put it in there. I think I'm going to open it some more. Sometimes I wish that these jumper rings were straight and then you could easily coil them up yourself because sometimes it's hard to fit through things. Aww. Okay. Okay, you learned from my error. I totally, accidentally got an eyeball out. Whoops. Well, I guess I can do both of them purple now, since the blue one came off. Ah, uh, gosh darn it. Let me see if I can get it. I got it! Now that is way easier than piercing you here. I used to have my barbells, well, industrials rather, in my ears, and uh, I have these coily ones in my ears, and uh, oh, my nose itches, and I left it out of my ear one night because the coily ones, like, it's like they were making some kind of callus on my nose see I did it and so I left it out for a night so it could get better and I could put my regular ones in and before you know it I healed up like the Wolverine and so now I'm going to have to re-pierce it again if I want it I don't know if I want to though cuz like it hurt pretty bad and like I bled it's pretty gruesome because like industrials are um the same thickness as a uh, belly button piercing so yeah I don't recommend getting industrials done but hey if you really love the way that they look 
go ahead and do it. Okay, so I fixed it and now it's actually the purple eyes. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get some of this and you could use, you don't have to use ribbon, you can use yarn, but I think, I think the ribbon looks a lot better. And you take, oh, I prefer black since it matches with everything you're just gonna hopefully I can get this to go through oh yeah the key the key is to um, make sure that you get thin ribbon and not get thick because if you get the thick ribbon it's gonna be hard to get it to go through so I just put it through basically that's pretty much all you gotta do here it's not that hard to do honestly I had no idea what I was gonna post today as far as videos go um I just kind of had inspiration and I was like yeah that's what I'm gonna do so here I am doing this project for you guys. I do eventually I want to show you how to do some other stuff. I haven't had a chance to go shopping though because it's it's been so hot. I don't really react too well to the heat. So um, when it comes to me getting stuff to do other projects that I really want to do that I don't have the things for. Well, it's supposed to rain here, so when it rains, I'll feel up to going and getting the things that I need as far as things that I don't already have supplies for on hand. But this is what I already had on hand, so, and it's it's good to recycle. So right now I just did a little blow thingy, okay? So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take some super glue um, and I'm going to put it on the bow thing so to make sure it stays in place. Careful when you're doing this though, don't get your face too close to where you put the super glue on because it warms up and it, I can't tell you how many times fumes have come so close to my eye and burned it. So now just kind of I don't know eyeball it and or you can put it on your neck maybe I'll maybe I'll put it on my neck and see how long I want it to be eh I would say like that okay and now you just take the bat and put it on there okay the next part that you're going to do is you're just going to make a loop like this. So that way when you put it on, all you have to do is you just take the the button and you put it through and the little loop and it, and it stays in place like that and doesn't come off. So just make a loop um, about the size of the button. You don't want it too big because then um especially if you have a job where you walk a lot or maybe you're a secretary hopefully they'd let you wear a necklace like that that'd be awesome i mean a necklace like this it could probably come off so okay mm, i think that's about the right size for a loop you could if you wanted to, if you didn't have super glue, you could just ease a little bit of a flame because this is like nylon string type stuff. I know it's flammable. I don't know if it's nylon, but does it say on here? It's in Spanish and in French. I don't know. 
I got this from Dollar Tree. It doesn't say, oh, polyester. Poly I know polyester is flammable because when you're going to go on a plane, they tell you not to wear polyester. They say to make sure you wear 100% cotton because things can happen. I'm not a big fan of planes myself. They tend to mess with my ears a lot. Okay. And we are done. I'm not going to put it on because one, uh, the eyes are not fully dried yet. And two, I still want to put some clear nail polish over it. But that's kind of boring. So this is, this is what you get with the necklace. I mean, it's not really, you're not really going to be able to tell uh, when I put the clear nail polish on it. Because, well, you're not in person, but if you're in person, you'd be able to tell the difference. But um, I think it came out really good. Um, you can do use this same concept uh, with uh, anything you wanted to put on a necklace. A uh, spider, a guitar, whatever. They didn't even take that much money, the... Uh, the little glitter for the eyes, one dollar, but it came with other things of glitter. The tiny, um, this tiny little thing, well, it was like 50 cents, I think. It says 99 cents from Hobby Lobby, but if you go to Walmart and buy it, it's like 50 cents. And then the glue sticks, you can get it at Walmart or whatever for like 50 cents too. The uh, ribbon is a dollar. Dollar Tree, they they sell different types. Um, and uh, buttons are cheap too. I'm pretty sure you have some laying around the house. The cardboard, free. <laughs> so, um, the jump ring. That's the only thing that might be the pricey thing, but it really isn't that pricey. I mean, you might have some jewelry that's broken, and you can just use one of the jump rings from it, but. Um, you can find it cheap. I recommend going to uh, Michaels if you have a chance. Michaels, they have good prices. A lot of times Hobby Lobby will have their metal works on sale. So you could get something for 50 cents or whatever. So if you go to Hobby Lobby and they have whatever on sale, stock up. That's what I like to do. Um, this is not a very flattering angle of me at all. I swear I don't look like this in person. It's not unfair how cameras add pounds to you. I guess that's why I'm not a good, uh, big fan of taking pictures of myself. I get told so many times that I look different in person than I do uh, in pictures. No weird angles here. <laughs> that's all I have to say. <laughs> I'm just being goofy. Um, so tomorrow I'm not sure what project I will have. Um, it'll probably be a, another art project of some sort. Maybe a hair thing. That's what I really feel like doing. I, I'm a big fan of accessories. I don't know if you can tell. Um, if I had a mannequin, I could definitely do like shirts and stuff, but I'm not sure where I can buy a mannequin. Um, maybe I could use a chair instead. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, because I'm creative. <laughs> so I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And, um, yeah, if uh, I, on, um, what was I going to say? I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how you do it on here, but if you want to tag me in, uh, a video or whatever, you're going to do a video on here and, you want to show that you use my instructions to make a necklace go ahead and tag me in it or whatever um yeah <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and um yeah i i will try my best to have a video every day if you like uh subscribe thank you Mwah.